Hello, my name is Dr. Boykin Robinson. I'm a board certified emergency physician and I will provide some simple instructions regarding your aftercare. We hope that this instructional video proves to be useful, but please remember that this video does not replace the information provided by your individual physician in the emergency department. It is meant to supplement those instructions. If there are any questions or concerns, please contact the facility that treated you or your private physician. We are pleased that you gave us the opportunity to evaluate your seizure. A seizure is a temporary symptom of abnormal, excessive activity in the brain. It can present in a dramatic fashion with convulsions or in a mild manner with staring spells. The signs and symptoms of a seizure vary depending on the type of seizure and the cause. There are multiple causes of seizures and some patients who suffer from them have epilepsy. There are seizures, however, that are not associated with epilepsy, but instead are caused by trauma, intoxication, infection, fever, withdrawal from drugs or alcohol, severe stress, or metabolic disturbances. In the emergency department, we attempt to discover why you've had a seizure and rely on a careful history and physical exam. The underlying cause of your seizure will guide our management in the emergency department. We may do blood tests and even a CT scan of your brain to get more information. You may still require an EEG of your brain by the neurologist as an outpatient. Depending on the severity and number of seizures, you may have received medication to stop the seizure. You may also have been discharged with a prescription for seizure medication, depending on the underlying cause of your seizure. It is very important that you do not drive until you are medically cleared by the neurologist. Return to the emergency department or see your physician immediately if you begin having severe seizures, develop a fever, sustain an injury from a seizure, or have unusual confusion. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. We hope that you found it helpful. Again, follow your treating physician's instructions as your situation may be unique.